Hi everyone. My name is Terry Ayana Wright. I am a black femme wearing, currently wearing a tight red top and my hair is slicked back and there's a, a green screen standing behind me. I'm in my living room. I consider myself to be a dancer, a teacher, a choreographer. I'm also a grad student right now at uh, Parsons, their design and technology program with the aim of combining my dance background with technology. And I have found a, sort of an affinity of doing that through screen dance. And I'm, I'm so thankful for Valencia and for iBeam and for Glowbox for bringing me onto this, um, this program to, to do just that. Um, the, the, the experience that Carlos and I have um, created is for everyone and we hope that everyone enjoys it. it. It is deeply inspired by both of our cultural roots, his Peruvian and mine African, African American. Um, and so we use that um, textiles and textures from our different cultures to sort of uh, indirectly shape how we created the story around the space. Um, from the choreography to the artifacts that you'll see themselves. So we hope you enjoy our experience in Hubs. And yeah, thank you. Thank you for listening. Hi, my name is Carlos John Davila. I'm a Peruvian American immersive media maker, sound designer, and composer. At the time that I'm recording this, I'm in my room in Brooklyn, New York. My pronouns are he, him. And a visual description of myself is I'm wearing a black tank top, I have very little facial hair, black hair, and on the wall behind me is a projection of an abstract film that I painted. My work is mainly done in 360 video and dance. I also work with software such as Isadora to make interactive video performance. I believe that these mediums help decolonize the fine arts. I believe that these mediums also open avenues of accessibility through technology. And I want to use these mediums to advance Hispanic narratives in American culture. Hi, my name is Kat Ross. My pronouns are she, her, they, them. A visual description of myself, I'm a white androgynous femme. I have long red hair with bangs. I'm wearing wireframe glasses. I have freckles and I'm wearing a uh, light coral sweatshirt. My background is my bedroom. I'm sitting in front of um, some house plants and I have a, um, an abstract painting in the background to my right. I'm working from Portland, Oregon on the traditional lands of the Multnomah, Kathlamet, Chinook, and various other Columbia River Basin tribes. I am a creative technologist, researcher, and performing artist. Um, I work a lot in sound design and dance and film. The past few years I've been more concentrated on new media and performance. My Practice is conceptually centered around social and environmental justice as they relate to burgeoning technologies. And my, my draw to new media and performance is a desire to uh, contribute to the aesthetics of this super new medium um, and making an effort to decolonize these virtual spaces by contributing to the shaping of the culture uh, and the dialogue and who's represented and who's creating in these, in these mediums um, in an effort to uh, make them more equitable. Hello, my name is Elaine Weingold. Um, as a visual description of myself, I'm a non-binary black femme. Um, I've got my hair kind of pinned up in a messy kind of bird's nest thing today. Um, I've got blue eyebrows and I'm wearing a sort of cream colored cardigan right now. Um, I'm an interdisciplinary artist and I work mostly with video, sound, and sculptural installation and then have recently gotten into new media arts. Um, I'm currently an undergrad student at Pacific Northwest College of Art. Um, and for the Volumetric Performance Toolbox project, I worked with my awesome partner Remy Harris to create the Sankofa hub space. And we're envisioning this space as a sort of suggested bridge between what we understand as external and separate from ourselves through the exploration of this kind of celestial dream landscape. Um, well, I really hope you guys enjoy all of the performances and thanks for listening. Hi, 
my name is Remy Harris. I am a Barbados born and Brooklyn bred movement artist and XR enthusiast. My work explores the intersectionality between black female representation, movement, and new media. Uh, my work kind of manifests in different forms of choreography for the stage, choreography for the film, and thinking about how we can incorporate XR technology into performance. As a member of the Volumetric Performance Toolbox cohort, I am really interested in thinking how we can use these new technologies to archive and preserve our stories, how we can reclaim our body in these new spaces, and also how can we start to create new pathways and a new roadmap for the future we want to see. Hi everyone, my name is Marianne Talavera. For my visual description, I am a medium brown skinned femme with curly hair, uh, glasses, um, I, I'm wearing a purple turtleneck and pink necklace, and um, I'm a uh, multimedia artist, uh, filmmaker, and a graduate student in the Interactive Telecommunications program at New York University's Tisch School of the Arts. Um, I worked on Of the Elements, and I'm passionate about immersive media. Um, using creative technology like augmented reality, virtual reality, and virtual production, my work centers the narratives of black and brown communities with a focus on celebrating the stories of the African diaspora. Um, and one of my goals is to help close the gaps in representation within the 3D space and um, make interactive experiences that are as accessible as possible. And lastly, I just wanted to say a big thank you to the Volumetric Performance Toolkit team. This has been an amazing experience. Thank you. Hello, my name is Antoine Hunter. I'm a director of Urban Chad Dance Company and the founder of the Bay Area International Deaf Dance Festival. Really, I am so just really honored to be here to create a world that is really necessary for us to try to create. You know, a lot of people are today are trying to find out a way to feel peaceful. You know, and we are creating a virtual world to bring peace to people. You know, I think the interesting peace means work, giving, providing access to yourself with each other. You know, myself, I'm deaf, and um, I'm Chinese and Black food plus Africa. I think it's really meaningful for me to find a space to be chill. You know, working with people in the process, we'll be trying to understand what access means for each other, you know, and um, go on a journey. You know, my other name is Purple Fire Glow, that's my extension name. Being shady and bluffed, plus African, it's really important for me to stay connected to my spiritual self, to find a space so I can stay grounded. Any space, well, you know. Oh, um, so, so when I'm working with people, feeling very really respectful, to trying to, you know, sometimes we are like doing when we say each other's name before we speak. That practice, tend to hearing people tend to just talk. You hear the tone of their voices, you know who's talking. But I don't hear the tone of their voices. So when they speak and they say their name and interpret it, they you know, ah, I understand what's going on. You know, I really appreciate that because like cooking, you have to put out what's inside of you. If they are open mind to creating a good soul pool of assets, then that virtual world that we create will have a good soul pool of assets. Uh, I'm really grateful for people to be participating in this, you know, because this is a learning moment of how we all can come together. It's a really important moment, you know what I mean? I just think uh, that I'm grateful to be a part of the process. You know, yeah. So, again, my name is Antoine. Hunter, also known as Purple Fire Club. Peace and love.